So when you have an e-commerce website, specifically in WordPress, optimizing your UX or user experience is a must. And this serve a big factor on your sales. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how you can optimize your checkout process to decrease abandoned rate. I'm gonna show you how your customer can check out faster into your website. This is specifically for website owners who use WordPress and WooCommerce. So again, if you are interested to increase your sales, then make sure you follow along this process. Without further ado, one, two, three. So these buttons in here are modules and it's not tied up to the WooCommerce. Now I'm going to teach you how you can redirect them to a cart, okay, instead of a product page. So when you go to the WordPress website and you go into the WooCommerce thing, um, like obviously you have an options if you do that way. So let me enable this visual builder. By the way, I am using DV um, on my landing pages. So if you want to have a very simple easy to use builder then feel free to use my link below to download dv they do have one-time payment and also yearly and monthly options so by default if you use these um buttons from dv and go into the link option um you can put your product link okay so product link something like that i haven't finalized the pricing yet but anyway, so I'll just show with you shortly. So if, okay, hold on. Let's refresh that. So if we exit the visual builder and we click this one, it just goes to the product page. Uh, by the way, I haven't set this up yet. Now, what if you want it to be redirected automatically to the cart itself, to the checkout? So to do that, we need to know the product ID that we will be redirecting with. So I'll go into the product section and then all products. So at the moment, we only have one product right now and we just need this ID number in order for the WooCommerce understand that we are redirecting this that link to a specific page or a specific product page. So I'm gonna grab that one and then you go back to the I'm gonna go back to the home page and click the enable visual builder. Now the syntax for that is this one. Okay. So you, it needs to be your website link followed by cart followed by forward slash and number to hyphen to cart and equals to product ID. So that's the whole syntax in order for you to redirect to the cart. Okay. So you just need, I'm going to copy that, replace that with this link and also this one. Oh, it's not working. Okay, and this one as well. Okay, and actually, I mean, I created a page for this, but if we have a lot of products in this website, I'm probably gonna change this one or move this as a product page. Now, if I click this button in here, I assume that it will be redirected to the thank you page. So I haven't set up my layout yet, but if you can see here, I like I can proceed to the checkout. Now I want this billing information and add to cart in one page to reduce abandoned rate. So how we can do that? I install a plugin called One Checkout and Layout. So the checkout and the cart page will merge if i activate this one okay i would prefer to choose this to checkout you can also choose this cart and plus checkout let's see how it looks now on this 
checkout page. So let's go back to the home page and click this again. So here, so if you notice the cart and the billing information already merged in one page. Also in this part, you can modify some global style. So if this yellow thing, like, I think we already done the changes, but let me just refresh this a little bit. So if you want this one to change to other color, because I set the hero background to, to block. So if you want to make it red, then you can also do that. Now let's jump into other scenarios. So what if you have a lot of pages in here on your website? So by default in WooCommerce, the user experience really is not so good. So if you click the add to cart, it doesn't allow the user to redirect to the add to cart. They, this like the labels here is a little bit con confusing. They just, they need to click this view cart in order to redirect to the add to cart. and that can hurt your sales that can hurt the user experience so how we can optimize this so the goal is we want this to be um if they go to the product page and they click the add to cart it just goes directly to the add to cart okay and i'm going to show you as well how you can re change this add to cart here so that can be done via jQuery, but since we already installed this um, checkout layout, you can also do that by going to the checkout, replace, and then under the part here that's called add to cart, you can put in buy now. So save, and if you refresh that one, okay, let's do that again. It should work. Let's just try now. Add to cart. This is interesting to know. Okay, so it's ready fixed. So it was replaced to the buy now. So the second problem in here, by the way, just disregard this part here because we really haven't done any design improvement in this product page. So let's just focus on user experience. So that when they click the add to cart, it should go directly to the cart itself or to the checkout page. So how you can fix this problem. So again, go to the WooCommerce and then go to the settings area and go to the product tab and go to the section that's called buy now behavior. So the buy now behavior, make sure that this redirect thing is check so let's see save then let's try to open again the product page so we already fixed this one and if you click the buy now button it should be redirect to the checkout page okay so that is better compared to the default process so yeah i hope you find this valuable guys again if you have any questions or a concern feel free to comment down below. Thank you.